Dingus Van Sant, I'm glad mentioned Other Side of the Wind, uh, Orson Welles. You can kind of uncover um, a lot of uh, interesting stuff around Orson Welles, really, because practically every one of his movies was a troubled production. Yeah. <laughs> um, Other Side of the Wind, uh, I'm sure most are probably aware, is basically a reconstruction of a film he had started making in the 1970s that was quite influenced from the uh, like French and Italian directors of the time, kind of new wave aesthetics and was uh, basically making a movie about a film director making a new movie uh, and done in kind of like a cinema verite kind of way. We were kind of a fly on the wall at this party. Um, and John Huston plays the director um, and uh, Peter Bogdanovich is in it as a, a, as a reporter, I want to say, or a writer or something. Um, and, I forget uh, exactly, but yeah, somebody who's very close to the... To main director played by John Huston and sort yeah. of like weirdly playing a version of himself Bogdanovich is yeah and um the movie is uh it also has a film within a film uh that's kind of like uh sort of approximating like Antonioni style and doing like Orson Welles's version of an Antonioni movie uh which is quite interesting and bizarre um, I really, yeah, that's, uh, it's uh, a good one. Um, and I think I would also highly recommend, um, if you watch Other Side of the Wind, I would really, uh, I would recommend pairing it with the documentary um, that was made around the same time, um, The Love Me When I'm Dead. Um, it's a fantastic documentary on Wells in the later part of his career. Um, and sort of it gives that context where if you find Other Side of the Wind kind of, unapproachable it gives that context to kind of understand what he was doing and what he was kind of experimenting with at the time and sort of what the conversation was uh in film and how he was really until the uh, end of his career really trying to do something that was kind of pushing the envelope and um and was kind of artistically valid and not just sort of like a commercial pursuit so it's a great great celebration of wells's work and i think um it, uh, I, I liked Other Side of the Wind before seeing The Love Me When I Did, but I think after seeing it, I, I really kind of appreciated what it was and the nature of it and uh, kind of how daring it was for the time. Um, and just, uh, I guess, take it with a grain of salt, though, because the movie was not finished by Orson Welles. It's, some people were kind of particular about that of like, should you really call it an Orson Welles movie if he didn't approve the final edit of the movie? I'll let who have you know your own feelings about that dictate whether you want to see the movie or not but i i really enjoyed it 